أنا آمنت بالرب عمري 19 سنة. I've come to know the Lord Jesus when I was 19. I, and I got married and I have a daughter. And finally, I've become a grandfather. And I have a son and a daughter. And there is a, a, a level, an educational level. درجة علمية كبيرة إجتني وبروموشن. A promotion that I've received. نسي لأخ جو يحكيها. That Joe forgot to talk about. بالإضافة إلى شهاداتي. In addition to all the certificates that I've achieved. فأنا من بعد 33 سنة راعي كنيسة. But after 33 years I've become a shepherd of a church. و15 سنة مدير كلية لاهوت. And 15 years I was the the manager of a theological um a college. أجاني the highest promotion. And I've received the highest promotion. يعني درجة علمية كبيرة من بعد هذا. A high promotion higher than that. أنا اليوم baby sitter. And today I'm a baby sitter. وأحلى شيء عندي أحفادي. And the best thing I have are my grandchildren. وأنا سعيد جدا بهم. And I'm really pleased with them. وأت وأطلب وأتمنى للجميع أن يصيروا جد وتاتا. And I I wish for everyone to become a grandfather and a grandmother. دون أن يكبروا بالسن. Um and not um get older. Without getting older. رغبة أن أشارككم. في موضوع. I desire to share with you on a topic. معاني يوم الخمسين. The meaning of the day of Pentecost. وأنا بعرف بأي كنيسة أنا هنا. And I know what church I'm visiting today. وأنا بعرف قلب الأسيس طارق. And I know the heart of Pastor Terry that is really extended. وأنا أنا من الكنيسة المعمدانية. I am from a Baptist church. ويمكن ما بلاقي محلات كتير أعز هالرسالة. فجأة أعز عندكم. I don't have lots of avenues to share this message, so I come and share it here. فموضوعي راح يكون اليوم. So the topic that I will share about today. معاني يوم الخمسين. The meaning of the day of Pentecost. برضو أنا متعلم من الكتاب الآية اللي بتقول. And yes, I have learned the verse from the Bible that says. ذوقا صالحا علمني. Um, good taste teach me. فأنا راح أبقى في حدود الذوق. So uh, in the limitation or, or the, the dimensions of taste. نقرأ من أعمال الرسل. So we read from Acts. عدد من الآيات من من واحد. From chapter one. ولما حضر يوم الخمسين ممكن أقرأ عربي وإنجليزي بنفس الوقت. طبعا الموجودين بيعرفوا عربي كمان. طيب. ولما حضر يوم الخمسين وكان الجميع معا بنفس واحدة. Yes, one, one. Sorry. Ah, two, one. It's in Acts one from verse Acts two from verse one. One, okay. And we're going to start with the reading. وصار بغتة من السماء صوت كما من هو بريح عاصفة وملأ كل البيت حيث كانوا جالسين. وظهرت لهم ألسنة منقسمة كأنها من نار واستقرت على كل واحد منهم وامتلأ الجميع من الروح القدس وابتدوا يتكلمون بألسنة أخرى كما أعطاهم الروح أن ينطقوا وكان يهود رجال أتقياء من كل أمة تحت السماء ساكنين في أورشليم لاحظوا يهود أتقياء فلما صار هذا الصوت اجتمع الجمهور وكانوا من أعداد كبيرة من كل مكان وبيقول عنهم أنه كانوا يهود ودخلاء كانوا يهود ودخلاء في عدد عشرة وكلهم كانوا عم بيعظموا الله وأقول أمين إذا أنت عايزة تقري There came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind and it filled the whole house where they were sitting. Then there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire and, us, and one sat upon each of them and they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the Holy Spirit gave them utterance. 
And there were dwelling in Jerusalem Jews, devout men from every nation under heaven. And when this sound occurred, the multitude came together and were confused because everyone heard them speak in his own tongue. And in verse 10 it says, Faria and Familia, Egypt and the parts of Libya adjoining um, Seren, visitors from Rome, both Jews and Protestants. Amen. Amen. Ahabai. اليوم الخمسين كان يوم مميز. The day of Pentecost was a special day. لأن روح القدس جاء بقوة. Because the Holy Spirit came with might. وأعلن أنه إذا جاز التعبير أنه أقنوم. And and it was it was it was presented person. and revealed as a person. وحدث فيه. أن بعيضة واحدة أمن ثلاثة ألاف نفس. And through the Holy Spirit, through one message, three thousand souls came to the Lord. رافق هذا الحدث هبوب ريح عاصفة. So what accompanied this event was a a mighty wind. وألسنة منقسمة نار حلت على الجميع. And divided tongues as a fire and sat upon each of them. وامتلأ الجميع من الروح القدس. And everyone was filled with the Holy Spirit. وكانوا يتكلمون بألسنة جديدة. And they spoke with new tongues. وكانوا الناس عم بيقولوا نحن عم نسمع بيتكلموا بألسنتنا أين تعلموها. People that heard them could say that they were speaking languages that they understood and they were questioning how they learned it. إنهم سكارة. They are drunk. لا. No. نحن لسنا سكارة. We are not drunk. نحن تم فينا ما جاء في سفر يوئيل. Um, what happened is what was presented in the book of Joel. أسكب روحي على كل بشر. That I'll pour my spirit on all men. وهنا يأتي. موضوعنا اليوم. And the topic is now presented today. معاني يوم الخمسين. The meaning of the day of Pentecost. أول معنى نراه هو. The first meaning that we see is. هو التالي جوابا عن السؤال. Answering the question. ألم يكن روح القدس موجودا سابقا؟ Wasn't the Holy Spirit there from before or previously? ماذا يعني أن يحضر الآن الروح القدس؟ What does it mean for the Holy Spirit to be presented now? وفي الواقع أحبائي truly, عندما نقابل يوم الخمسين بالتجسد فعنا هنا حدث ممتاز حدث رائع جدا أنه فيه ابن الله يتجسد ويصير الإنسان So what we, what we find is how God has come in the flesh and was presented through the Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of God. So what accompanied this was um, a, a, a solo, an event that was from, from the east to the west. They presented um, presents to the Lord Jesus. A choir, a choir who was praising God was was seen in heaven. And they were presented to the shepherds. And they could see what could happen through what happened through the birth of Jesus. And how the priest was carrying Jesus and said, "You can now let your son go." يعني كان في أعمال احتفالية ترافق حدث تجسد. Different acts of joy and celebrations accompanied the birth of the Lord Jesus Christ. هذا لأن الأقنوم الثاني المسيح ابن الله جاء إلى عالمنا. Because what happens is the second, um, the person of the Lord Jesus Christ has come to earth. والآن الروح القدس الأقنوم الثالث. The Holy Spirit. بدي يجي. Who comes? He came to the world. And he accompanied, touched the church with power. Thank you. فبدي يكون هذا الاحت هذا الحدث حدث احتفالي. And this event also requires an event and a celebration. من الآن ستأخذ الكنيسة دفعة قوية من روح الله يملأها وتنتشر في كل الأرض. And from now the church will be moved with power and it will be extended to the whole world. إذا مجيء الروح القدس كحدث. The coming of the Holy Spirit as an event means. معناها إنه الله يرغب أن يعمل الروح القدس. في مجيئه يوما احتفاليا رائعا. And what means that the Lord wants to celebrate His presence and His coming through the Holy Spirit. والسؤال. And the question is. وأنتوا عايشينه. And you're living it. هو 
هل نعيش دائما هذا الاحتفال؟ Do we live in celebrating the Holy Spirit at all times؟ صحيح. هل نحتفل بهذا دائما؟ Do we celebrate it? القدس في حياتنا celebrate the presence of the Holy Spirit in our lives that moves through celebrating and through joy. أنا أحب الاحتفالية بيسوع المسيح. And I I enjoy celebrating the Lord Jesus Christ. أنا أحب أن يحتفل دائما بالروح القدس في حياتنا. I enjoy that we celebrate and we have joy through the presence of the Holy Spirit and that we witness for Christ through the whole earth. صحيح. هذا من معاني. And this is one of the meanings of the day of Pentecost. And the second meaning is that God fulfills His promises. Jesus promised and He said stay in Jerusalem so that you will receive power from above. And the church waited and the Holy Spirit came. يسوع المواعيد. And the Lord Jesus fulfilled His promise. إنه صادق. He is He is honest and faithful. ويعطي ما وعد به. And He He fulfills the promise that He makes. وصار اسمه روح المواعيد. And He was called the the روح الوعد روح المواعيد القدوس. The spirit of promise. The spirit of promise. إيه لأنه وعد. Because it's a promise. وعندما يعد الله يفي بوعده. And when the Lord promises, He will fulfill His promise. إذا وعدنا بالروح القدس يعطينا الروح القدس. He promised us with the Holy Spirit, He will fulfill it by receiving the Holy Spirit. هذا من المعاني المؤكدة. And these are the the meanings that that are that are stated. اليوم الخمسين. For the day of Pentecost. أمكثوا إلى أن. Until. وبينما هم يصلون مجتمعين بنفس واحدة. And as they were gathering together in one spirit, praying. لأنهم صدقوا. Because they believed the promise. جاء الموعود به. What was promised has come. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. وإجانا الوعد بالروح القدس. So the promise was fulfilled through the Holy Spirit. وقمنا نشهد ونملأ الدنيا بخبر الخلاص في المسيح. Through we witness the whole world about the salvation of Christ. يعجبني تسبيحكم. I enjoy your the way you praise. What the Holy Spirit does in us. When he when he comes to us. And one of the other meanings of the day of Pentecost. That Christianity is is special is more special or is special than Jews. كان اليهود يمارسون الراحة والعبادة يوم السبت. The Jews, Jews, Jewish people were used to worship on Saturdays. ويسوع قام يوم الأحد. And the Lord Jesus was resurrected on Sunday. وصارت الكنيسة تجتمع وتعبد الله يوم الأحد. So the church has come to worship God and and serve worship God on Sundays. وكان الظهورات يوم الأحد. And lots of revelations happen on Sundays. الأسبوع الثاني ظهر. Um, the following week, he he was he revealed himself on a Sunday. And they used to meet together at the beginning of the, the week. And this was the the introduction to how the church will worship God on Sundays. And it means a new day. And a new covenant. أن هناك تميز بين يسوع واليهودية. There is there is a a distinction between the Jewish people and the Christianity. نحن منقول منقول تميز لا بداية جديدة كليا لأن يسوع جاء هو وهو ابن العهد القديم. The Lord Jesus came and he was the son of the Old Testament. ابن شعب العهد القديم. He was the son of the people of the Old Testament. لكنه جاء برسالة مميزة. But he came with a special message. الكرم يؤخذ منكم. Um, what was taken from you, he will, it will be given to the church. Um, another nation that, that, that works. So it means it's a special introduction than the previous one. Salvation in the Old Testament was through understanding and knowing the law. بقبول المسيح مخلصا. But in the New Testament, it's through receiving the Lord Jesus Christ as a savior. بالعهد القديم الشريعة على ألواح. In the Old Testament, the law was actually put on tablets. Tablets. خارج قلوبنا. Outside our hearts. اقرأ يا إنسان واجتهد أن تحفظ. Read men and 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 keep the commandments. جاء يسوع. But the Lord Jesus came. هو كلمة الله. He was the word of God. هو الشريعة مجسمة. The law that was put in flesh. وسكن فينا. And he lived in us. 
وأصبحت الشريعة محفورة على قلوبنا اللحمية. So the law has become engraved in on our hearts. أكتب نواميسي في قلوبكم. I will write my laws on your hearts. فإذا هناك الآن بداية مميزة. So there is a special beginning. الخلاص لا بأعمالنا. Salvation is not through our good works. بل بوجود يسوع الذي يعمل الأعمال فينا. But through the presence of Christ in us, who does the work through us. مع المسيح صلبته. I was crucified with Christ. أحيا لا أنا، بل المسيح يحيا في. مش الشريعة، مش ألواح، المسيح. It's Christ. I die. The Messiah will live in me. Christ will live in me. Achlaqi Yesu'a fiya. My manners. Ruhaniyati Yesu'a fiya. Christ in me. My spirituality reveals Christ in me. Allah Allah fi hayati wujud al-ruh al-Qudus fiya. The power in my life reveals the Holy Spirit's presence in me. Then bidaya mumayyaz. That's why it's a special beginning. Kana al-Yahud yabudun Allah yom al-Sabt. So the Jewish we used to worship God on a Saturday. مع بداية مع مجيء يسوع صاروا يعبدون الله يوم الأحد. And with the new beginning, they started worshiping on a Sunday. وجاء يوم الخمسين يوم الأحد. And the day of Pentecost came on a Sunday. لكي يؤكد هذا الاتجاه الجديد. To to assure this new direction on the beginning. فكان الاحتفال يوم الأحد. So the celebration was on the Sunday. هذه بدأ شوية حسابات. بدأ نعمل شوية حسابات. So we we now have new accounts. Do you know the meaning of the day of Pentecost, the 50th day? So we start from the feast of the Jewish feast, from the Passover. Right, from the Passover. Yes. So the day of Pentecost is the beginning for reaping, reaping the harvest. So they, they, they collect the harvest and they present it to the Lord. Was there any um, um, reaping of the harvest or harvest on the day? Yes, there were 3,000 people who came to the Lord. Lots of harvest. And um, someone said one sermon, three thousand people came to the Lord. Nowadays, it's three thousand sermons brings one soul to the Lord. There's a big difference. In all cases, if we, if we calculate fifty days, you know mathematics is on seven. Seven times seven is forty-nine. Is on the first day of the Sabbath. So the feast was on the Saturday. Then Sabbath, Sabbath, Sabbath. So Saturday and Saturday. Forty. So the fiftieth day. And it's an additional day on the on the Saturday. And it's a Sunday. وهذا يؤكد اتجاه الكنيسة الباكرة. And this assures the the beginning direction of the church. أن العبادة يوم الأحد. So the worship is on a Sunday. وأن يسوع جاء بيوم مميز. And and the Lord Jesus came on a special day. وبعهد مميز. And through a new special covenant. وبخلاص مميز. وقوة مميزة. And it's a special salvation. وحياة مميزة. وبركة جديدة. And it's a new blessing. يسوع فينا رائع. The Lord Jesus in us is great. لأنه جاء بالجديد. Because He came with a new direction, and it's a better direction. ببداية تمجد الله. It's a beginning that glorifies God. وتغير العالم. And that it changes the whole world. صحيح. True. نعم. Yes. هذا من معاني. This is these are the meanings. يوم الخمسين. Of the day of Pentecost. ومن معاني يوم الخمسين. One of the other meanings of the day of Pentecost. أن الله يأتي لكي يسكن في شعبه. That the Lord is comes to to dwell amongst the nation. Why would He come to live in the nation or amongst the nation? Because He doesn't have a, an earthly temple. The Lord Jesus cried over at Jerusalem. And He said, "Your house is your temple." الهيكل يسمى بيت. The temple was called a house. بيت الصلاة يدعى. My temple is a is is a place for prayer. هو ذا بيتكم يترك لكم. So your house will be left for you. ولاحظوا عبارة يسوع لما رفضوا. And take note of what the Lord Jesus said to those who rejected him. هذا هيكلكم. This is your temple. مش هيكلي. Not my temple. مش هيكل الله. Not the temple of God. It's your temple. ويترك لكم. And it will be left for you. خرابا. It's a destruction. Desolate, she hate. 
اي انتبهوا للكلمه اللي ممكن تعني مهجورا it's it's a destructed place a place that has no life يعني لما يكون في عندنا هياكل so if we have lots of temples قصور قديمه um old old um palaces or or places and and it's there's no life in it هي خاربه it it has no life it's destructed لكن الناس مش موجودين تركوا but people have left these places and they've gone والهيكل راح يخرب And and the temple will will, will be destroyed. And no one will live in it. When the Lord Jesus died, the the temple was split in half. إذن الله غادر الهيكل. And what that means is that God left the temple. هذا عقاب لأنه رفض الابن. This was a punishment because the son was refused and rejected. والآن الله لا يسكن في هياكل مصنوعه بالايادي. And now God doesn't dwell in in temples that are made by men. هذه بوعظة ستيفانوس. And and this is the sermon that Stephen um has preached. Stephen. الله سماء السماء لا تسعه. Um the heavens does not does not contain God. ما بيشت ما بيسكن في هياكل صنع اليد البشرية. He doesn't dwell in temples that were made by men. وترك الهيكل اليهودي. So he left the Jewish temple. لأن الابن رفض وصلب. Because the son was rejected and crucified. والآن الله يرغب أن يأتي ويقيم في هيكله. And now the Lord wants to come and dwell in his temple. And what is that temple? Who is that temple? His nation. His nation. Amen. Amen. لماذا يأتي الروح القدس الآن؟ Why would the Holy Spirit come now? لماذا الاحتفال؟ Why the celebration now? لماذا يأتي بقوة؟ Why would he come in power? لماذا يحل فينا؟ Why would he dwell in us? علينا. Through us. يقيم فينا. That you would dwell and live in us. يفيض منا. That he would overflow in us. لماذا؟ لأن الله يقيم الآن. Because God wants to dwell in us. There is no temple that is made through stone for God to dwell in. He will dwell in his nation. And where would you um, confirm what you're saying, Pastor Hassan? What, what does it mean, the, the, the speech or the, the Apostle Paul of what he said? Well, don't you know that you are the temple of the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit will dwell in you? Tell me. Where God, where does God dwell now? Through the, the temple that is made through stone or through us? ما هي كنيسته؟ What is his church? هل هي حجر أم بشر؟ Is it stones or is it people? إنه فينا. It's through us, in us. كان يوم الخمسين ضرورية. Because the day of Pentecost is important. لكي يؤكد الله أنه يقيم في شعبه. To assure that في الهيك. That God will dwell in the in the hearts of people, not through through temples that made in stones. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. نعم. Yes. إنه يقيم الآن فينا. He dwells in us. هذا معنى. This is a great meaning from the meanings of the day of Pentecost. What does it mean for God to come and dwell in us? It's, it's, a, very, um, it's a very important point. Yes. مسؤولية كبيرة عليه. And it's a responsibility, a big responsibility on us. قال يسوع أن يحبني. The Lord Jesus said, "Who loves me?" يحفظ كلامي. Keep my commandments. وأنا أحبه. And I will love him. ويحبه أبي. And my father loves him. وأنا وأبي. And my father and I. نأتي إليه. Will come to him. ونقيم عنده. And dwell with him. بالعربي نصنع. In Arabic, it means a home. And with him, we'll make a home. So what it means is that he will dwell in us. The Father, the Son, will dwell in us. والروح القدس يقيم فينا. And the Holy Spirit dwells in us. الثالوث يقيم فينا. It will will the Trinity dwell in us. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit dwell in us. With the Messiah, I live. 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 I live
يعني الثالوث في فيك فيا فينا الروح القدس يجعل حضور يسوع فينا الروح القدس يجعل الاب فينا فيك الروح القدس ساكن فيك مقيم فيك الاب والابن والروح القدس فيك اي مسؤوليه هذه كيف نتعامل مع بعضنا How do we treat each other? Jesus who lives in me respects the Jesus that lives in you. Um, does Jesus love and respect one another? Because Christ is in us. How, how would Christ um, interact with the Christ that lives in you? The Trinity that dwells in us. How will the Trinity look at the Trinity that dwells in you? What love, what respect. What sacrifice. What, what compassion. And purity. Holiness. بعضنا, do, we, do we gossip about each other? نسخر, do we, do we mock الآخر? one another? نستهزي, يعني نضحك, do we, do we, um, do we make up um, things and stories that are not true? و, و, فيي, God who dwells in me and dwells in you. How, how is it that we should treat each other and live together? If we if we are alert or aware, or aware. if we are aware, إذا نحنا عنا إدراك إنه الله فينا المسيح فينا الروح القدس فينا كيف يعيش الواحد منا نحو الآخر؟ and the Holy Spirit dwell in us. How do we treat each other and live together? أي حماية what protection that we will protect each other. نصوم بعضنا البعض. That we will honor each other. ندعم بعضنا البعض. That we will empower each other. البعض. That we'll help each other. لأنه الله فينا. Because God is in us. هل بعرف شو معناه؟ Do you know what that means? أن يأتي الله الروح القدس ويسكن فينا. That God the Holy Spirit will come and dwell in us. هذا من معاني يوم الخميس. This is the meaning of the day of Pentecost. يجعل حياتنا رائعة. That He'll make our life great, blessed. لأنه يقيم فينا. Because He dwells in us. وعندما ندرس يوم الخميسين. And when we study the day of Pentecost. نرى أن الروح القدس جاء على اليهود فقط. We see that the Holy Spirit came on the Jews for only on the day of Pentecost. And, and some people, without taking, um, paying attention while reading this, through all the nations around the world who came to worship in Jerusalem. And, and they were coming from all different nations that, and they were not Jews. ولكن عندما نقرا بدقه نرى انه هودي يهود الشتات المتغربين في كل هذه الاماكن كانوا يهود اجوا يوم ال50 ليعملوا عيد باورشليم and what, what we see here is that people who were dwelling outside Jerusalem were actually Jews they came to Jerusalem to celebrate خمسة وكان يهود اتقياء من كل أمة تحت السماء and in verse 5 it says and there were Jews devout men from every nation under heaven وبعدد 10 بالاخير بيقول verse 10 it says يهود ودخلاء Phrygia and Pamphylia يهود ودخلاء Jews and those who are entering يعني كلهم كانوا يهود منهم so, يهود أصيل بالأصل يهود so ومنهم من عملوا يهود واختتنوا وصاروا يمشوا بحسب موسى وكان هيدا ضروري إنه يكونوا يهود was, um, لأنه الهيكل كان هيكل اليهود. Because the temple was the temple of the Jew people. وهلا الله بده يغادر الهيكل الحجري. And God wants to change the the temple that was made with time. الهيكل البشري. To come into the temple of human flesh. يلي هم يهود. And they were Jews. لكن روح روح القدس ليس لليهود فقط. But the Holy Spirit is not only for Jews. فكيف 
إذن هنا هذا الأمر. So how how is it that it's it's speaking like that? أمكث في أورشليم إلى أن تلبس قوة من الأعاني. Stay in Jerusalem until you receive power from above. وانتظروا. And they waited. كانوا كل يهود اللي انتظروا. So all the people who waited were Jews. هذه بداية الكنيسة. And this was the beginning of the church. يسوع يهودي. Um, the Lord Jesus is Jew. التلاميذ يهود. The children were the the disciples were Jews. كل المية وعشرين اللي مع يسوع كل يهود. The hundred and twenty that were Christ were all Jews. بعدين صار يوم الخمسين. So the day of Pentecost came. واليهود الم موجودين أخذوا البركة لليهود أولا ثم لليوناني للوثني والآن هل انحصر الروح القدس فقط في اليهود وهل كان اليوم الخمسين تابع انتجرال بارت جزء لا يتجزأ من يوم الخمسين. So بيت كارنيليوس. Uh, هنا يوم الخمسين. حل الروح القدس على اليهود. والآن في بيت كارنيليوس. يحل الروح القدس على الوثنيين. والوثنيين المؤمنين. And, 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 and come to the idol worshippers. كانوا وثنيين. They were idol worshippers. آمنوا بإله اليهود. They they believed in the God of the Jews. لأنه اليهود بشروهم. Because the Jews are witness to them. وكان اسمهم. And their names were. أتقياء تقي. Um they were um righteous. لكن مش يهودي دخيل. So it wasn't. لم يدخل اليهودية. So they didn't actually enter the Jews. ولما راح بطرس على بيت كورنيليوس. And when Peter went to the house of Cornelius. اضطر يأخذ معه شهود. He took witnesses with him because he was going to a house. Oh, mummy! Um, someone who people who worship idols from the Gentiles. إذن ما كان رايح على بيت شخص مختون. So he he wasn't going to to someone who was circumcised. Cornelius and his family were not Jews originally. Because they were not Jews originally. But they believed in Allah. In God. والله ظهر له قال له روح جيب بطرس. And God revealed Himself to him. هو يكلم كلاما به تخلص. He will talk. He will talk to you about things for for you to get saved. وعندما جاء بطرس إلى بيت كاميليوس. And when Peter came to the house of Cornelius. ونادى بالمسيح. And he called out for Christ. Um, in in Acts ten. هل الروح القدس. The Holy Spirit came. بقوة. In all power and in tongues, even to the point that Peter said, "Who would stop water from these people?" And literally, literally, those who received the Holy Spirit as we did initially or originally. Then, then, that day of Pentecost, that day of Pentecost, had a continuation. Where? In the house of Cornelius. And there, the ascendance of the Holy Spirit came on Jews and Gentiles. And here, I can say, the birth of the church had occurred. Daiman, في سؤال. There is always a question. والسؤال هو متى ولدت الكنيسة؟ متى؟ And the question is when was the church born? متى أسس يسوع الكنيسة؟ When did the Lord Jesus bring together or form the church? هل أسس الكنيسة عندما اختار الاثني عشر؟ Um, did he start the church for when he called um called the disciples? هل أسس الكنيسة عندما أضاف إليهم سبعين؟ Or or when he added another seventy disciples to them? هل تأسل الكنيسة عندما قال يسوع نفخ فيهم وقال اقبلوا الروح القدس؟ Was the church formed when the Lord Jesus um um put a breath on them and said receive the Holy Spirit? هل ولدت الكنيسة يوم الخمسين؟ Was the church born on the day of Pentecost? شفتوا الأسئلة؟ كثيرة. Lots of questions. ونحن عايزين جواب. And we need answers. ونرى الجواب. And we see the answers. في هذه الأحداث جميعها. Through all these events. يعني الكنيسة ولادة الكنيسة. So the birth of the church. ما كان يتهيك اللحظة. It wasn't through that second. Can it process? It was a process. Ma fume bil English. Okay. يعني كانت مرحلة هيك بعدين يعني من وقت ما يسوع جاب اتناش. So it was a stage through when the Lord Jesus formed the disciples or started the disciples. يعني صار الحمل. So so um pregnancy started. وبعدين 
في بيت كارنيليوس تمت الولادة. لأنه هناك الروح القدس جاء لكي يقول. Because the Holy Spirit came there to say. الكنيسة ليست من اليهود فقط بل من الأمم أيضا. The church is not just from the Jews but it's also from the Gentiles. لأن كنيسة يسوع هي من جميع الشعوب. Because the church of the Lord Jesus is from all nations. إنها ليست لليهود فقط بل لليهود ولجميع الأمم. It's Jews, it's for Jews and for all other nations. وهنا تمت الكنيسة. And that's when the church was formed. عندما جاء الروح القدس. When the Holy Spirit came. في بيت كورنيليوس. To the house of Cornelius. فاكتمل يوم الخمسين. So the day of Pentecost was then complete. واكتملت ولادة الكنيسة. And the birth of the church was then complete. ومن بعد بيت كورنيليوس. And after the house of Cornelius. طلقت الكنيسة. The church was um was was let go. تبشر اليهود والأمم. Started witnessing to the Jews and to the Orthodox. إنه جسد المسيح مؤلف من كليهما. Because the Lord Jesus was actually, uh, it's a message that was spoken through those. And the church will always be Jews and Gentiles. And the Lord does not distinguish between nations. And the Lord has loved the whole world for that he has given his only begotten son. Amen. My beloved friends, the church has to be accepting people from all nations so that you would accept people from all different cultures. You are the church of Christ. Do you love all nations? You are the church of Christ. And if someone says the church is from one nation, not the other, then it's not the church of Christ. The church um, was for, was but the birth happened for the church in the house of and the Lord Jesus completed that he he formed um, hate when he when he destroyed all the limits and the walls and in his temple which is his flesh he formed he, he formed the relationship between us and God through the May the glory be to him. أخي الحبيب قص طارق. My beloved brother, Pastor Terry. أنت اليوم شرفتني بهذه الدعوة الطيبة. I am honored through this invitation to come. أحبائي أنا أكون معكم وأشارككم شيء من معاد يوم الخمسين. Um, and for me to come and share with you something from the day of Pentecost. ويباركنا. And for the Lord to bless you and bless us. اللي بترفع اسم يسوع عاليا. And bless the church that lifts the name of the Lord Jesus high. وفرح كبير لي أن كنت معكم في هذه الساعة. And lots of joy I have for me to be with you today. ويبارككم الرب. God bless you.